Chilling tweet from former Obama campaign manager explains everything. War has been declared on President Trump, on America, on American values, ideologies, and upon our way of life. Our very histories are being erased before our eyes. Democrats, GOP globalists, fake news media, and Obama's deep state are waging an all-out information war against our America first president and his administration. This is not simply just a war about discrediting Donald J. Trump either. This is about total annihilation. It is about annihilating President Trump and his message in order to keep globalism alive. If President Trump succeeds, globalism will have suffered an epic defeat. The globalists clearly do not care that the American people have spoken, that President Trump was their clear choice. So people like Obama and his cronies are going after President Trump with a stunning amount of vitriol and vengeance. A past tweet from Obama's former campaign manager, David Plouffe, really puts his, this war against Trump into perspective and helps give clarity to what these people want. They will literally settle for nothing less than total annihilation. We are literally fighting a battle for our very way of life, for our country, if you will. Plouffe, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but whatever, put out his ominous tweet a few weeks before the Republican convention where Trump officially became the nominee. The tweet shines a disturbing light on their mindset and shows how far the global elite will go to silence President Trump's America First message. It is n uh, this is his tweet, David Plouffe. It is not enough to simply beat Trump. He must be destroyed thoroughly. His kind must not rise again. Read that. Let that sink in. And then read it again. Read it as many times as, necessarily, as necessary until you get just what we are up against. His kind must not rise again? Scary, isn't it? We need to fight for America, for our history, to keep our way of life for President Trump. Harder than we have ever fought for anything we have ever believed in bef before. It seems the battle for the election was easy. Now comes the hard part, maintaining that victory. The enemy will be vigilant. We must be as well. The good news is we the people have been and are President Trump's most powerful weapon. Together we have and will continue to defeat these evil globalists. It really, actually, it is quite disturbing that, that, that he wrote, he must be destroyed thoroughly his kind must not rise again, just like when Hillary Clinton called, basically, I would assume, at least 75-80% of Americans deplorable. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.